Hi, I'm Mitzi Miles, and this is my quick and easy recipe for chocolate souffle. If you've never made a souffle, you might be a little concerned about it, but it's really not that hard. The ingredients that you'll need are two tablespoons of butter, softened, plus a little more to grease the souffle dish, a quarter cup of sugar, plus a little extra to coat the souffle dish, eight ounces of good chocolate. The higher the percentage of cocoa, the richer it tastes. Seven eggs. You'll need to separate the yolks from the egg whites. And a pinch of salt. Get your kids to help you with this recipe. You can bribe them by telling them they can lick the bowl of chocolate. To get started, heat the oven to 350. Next, you'll want to grease the souffle dish with butter, and then you coat it with sugar and knock the excess sugar out. There is no flour in this recipe, and that makes it perfect for people with a gluten allergy. Next, cut the chocolate into small pieces, put them into a glass bowl, and add the two tablespoons of butter to the chocolate. Now heat this in a double boiler to melt it slowly. When the chocolate's nearly melted, remove from the heat and stir it. It needs to cool slightly. With a hand blender, whip the egg whites till you get stiff peaks. Next, whisk the egg yolks slightly, then you temper by adding the yolks to the chocolate. Once the chocolate and the yolks are mixed fully, Gradually add this to the egg whites. It's called folding in, which means mixing very gently. You don't want to take the air out of the egg whites. That's what makes the souffle so fluffy and makes you feel like you're eating chocolate air. Mmm, so good. When it's completely folded in, pour it gently into your prepared souffle dish and bake for about 25 minutes. So I do have cookies and cream because my daughter loves that. She's going to have that with her souffle. I also picked up some raspberries today. I think fruit is a nice accompaniment to, uh, to a souffle and chocolate as well. But whatever you enjoy it with, whipped cream or just some powdered sugar, just enjoy. And thanks for cooking with me today.